Hello friends, welcome to Action Script Video Tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand tokens of Action Script. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed comments, keywords, data types. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss identifiers in Action Script. Identifier, as the name itself indicating, identifier, identify, identification. Identifier is a sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of a program. It is a sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of the program. Identifiers are names given to the program elements. Identifiers are names given to the program elements by the programmer. As the names given by the programmer, they are called as user defined names or simply we say identifiers name of a variable name of a constant name of an array name of a function name of an object etc are examples for identifiers here variable constant array function objects are program elements to these program elements we give names while giving names to a variable, constant, array, function, object or an identifier, we have to follow some naming conventions. Naming conventions are the rules for writing identifier names or for forming identifier names. While giving a variable name or a constant name or any other program element name, we follow these rules. First rule is identifiers should be meaningful and descriptive. Do not use characters like S, P, W for naming a variable or a constant or any identifier. Identifiers should be meaningful. S, P, they don't give any meaning. Whereas if you write price, price is more meaningful and descriptive. It indicates the price of some product, right? Screen width. This is more meaningful and descriptive. It indicates the screen width of the game screen. Player 9 indicates a player in the position 9. Score indicates the player score. So, identifier names should be meaningful, descriptive. Keywords should never be used as identifiers. You can see here, continue, while, try, they are keywords. You should not use keywords for naming an identifier. It is invalid identifier name, friends. The first character can be alphabet underscore or dollar character. The first character of an identifier can be an alphabet. It may be an uppercase alphabet or lowercase alphabet. It can be underscore. It can be dollar. The first character should not be a number. You can see here ninth player is an invalid identifier name. You cannot write a digit in the beginning or you should not write an identifier beginning with a digit. Whereas you can have digit afterwards. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits or underscores. After the first character, the next characters can be alphabets, digit, underscore. No special characters are allowed except underscore or dollar, not even space. No special characters are allowed except the dollar symbol and underscore. You cannot have a space also. Space is also considered as a special character. You cannot have plus, minus, multiplication, greater than, less than, no. No special characters are allowed except the dollar and underscore. More than one successive underscores or dollars should not be used. You can see here, I am using successive underscores, successive dollars. More than one successive dollars, more than one successive underscores or should not be written, should not be used. Identifiers are case sensitive. A capital letter X and a small letter X are completely different in action script. Action script is case sensitive. So if you write num and num, they give same meaning, but they are completely different identifiers. They are treated as completely different identifiers because they are written in different way. Here in this first num, first letter is in uppercase, right? So there is a differentiation in the case of alphabets. Hence, these two are different identifiers. Next, identifiers names should not be same in the same scope. 
I discuss about scope about identifiers later. There are different types of scopes are there. Global scope, local scope, class level scope, function level scope. We discuss about scopes later. Okay. Identifier names should not be same. Should not be same in the same scope. Maybe same in different scope. Okay. So that is uh, all about naming conventions. You have to follow these rules while naming a variable, naming a constant, naming a array, function, object, etc. Step by step, you understand a lot because we will be creating our own variables, constants, arrays, functions, objects, etc. In upcoming video tutorials, you will get more idea. Okay. So for this video tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.